Hey, welcome back to another episode of a Dishonored. Um, I'm picking right back off uh, where I left off in the last episode because uh, I'm trying to record back to back some episodes so I can have them ready to edit and I can edit them, upload one, add another one, upload. So, uh, yeah, let's. So I now we have. They're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. So now we're going to, excuse me, Starting at last, we're going to uh, talk to someone. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. Nice this is you. a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Uh, yes, that is going to be very helpful. We're going to be visiting him uh, probably a lot because we're going to be getting a lot of... Uh, Sleeping guards and I'll all be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Yes, these things will explode. So we have to be very careful about this. I mean, if we throw Perfect. it. Now plug it in. Just Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. This mask is terror to them. Yes. Just the iconic mask. It must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Yeah, let's see what you have. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be very, very nice. Now, uh, let's take a look at our upgrades. Crossbow accuracy, crossbow range, crossbow reload, combat sleep dart. Sleep dart's sedative enough to uh, is immediate even in combat. Huh. Take another look at some other stuff. Plus you magnify your view. Okay. Uh, bolt capacity. That's going to be really helpful. And we'll worry about these later. We're not going to be super worried about uh, bolt charms and everything. Not just yet. Those will be hel helpful though. Um, what I'll probably do, how much do I have? Okay, you have that. We'll probably do the accuracy. And then we'll go ahead and make some purchases for the sleep bolts. Do we have any more money to buy anything? We don't. Okay. That's not a problem. You must be exhausted. I advise that 
you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Hey. Sleep well. I, I remember whenever I first started playing this game, I was so uneasy about these people because I was like, why are they talking so weird? Now I was like starting to like sneak around. I was like, Ooh, am I gonna have to? Yeah, something's not right. Oh. Uh, where are we? Okay, so it's been a very long time since I played this game, so I Hello, have not remembered Hello. a lot of stuff. Oh, I remember this Your guy. life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. <laughs> Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. I kind of wanted to uh, get a tattoo of that uh, tattoo he had on his hand, or well, it was really burned onto his skin. Um, and I was I was really thinking about it. I was like, I really want to get that tattoo, but it I don't want to get it on my hand because of course like businesses like aren't too fond about tattoos showing up on people's like hands or faces or anything like that. Uh, so I'll probably like put it somewhere else. That is probably what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get that tattoo. Uh, press LT to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Uh, aiming at ledges will allow you to blink. <sighs> Excuse me. Forward and climb up. Okay, hold LT. All right. Oh, oh no. You cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot, oh. I was like reading that as an actual thing. Nothing else over here. Corvo, I am very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not leave, I do not I do not believe them. I cannot read. Uh living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. Don't worry, Emily, we will. I mean you're right here, we can just grab you. Very uh expressive characters we have here. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm bad. I I love using the blink. <laughs> it's it's one of my favorite things to do. Cause I like that you can just <sighs> right behind somebody. Oh, here, let me catch that for you. Oh, was a, a whale? Is this a space whale? Oh, these guys. Let me tell you, I hate, hate these guys so much. They're very hard to uh, go up against, and they see all 
like in uh, Lord of the Rings. Which I need to rewatch that movie. It's been a long time since I played, or not played, but watched that movie. Water flowing upwards. In the days that follow, <clears throat> trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. Oh yeah. Uh, the heart is something that we're going to be using a lot throughout this game, from beginning to end. From this point on to the end, we're going to be using this heart. First room. Uh, once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Uh, yes, that is also going to be a thing that we do a lot is getting these powers. Dark vision, seeing the dark and living things through the walls. Uh, include their fields of vision, representations of the sound that you will, that you make, are also visible. Okay, so we'll be able to see what their, vi like their, what they're able to see. Their field of vision. That's gonna be helpful. <clears throat> How you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Awesome. A reminder all citizens, inspect your neighbor's faces closely. If there is any now we bear the mark of an assassin. A really cool mark, might I add. The liberal consumption of Sokolov's elixir. Once bleeding from the eyes occurs, death is inevitable. All suspicions of plague, regardless of severity, must be reported. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile yeah. of wood out there? It's a hobble. Cancel playing. Built. Yeah. Art. Where does Admiral Hadlock bring these people, I wonder? We go outside? Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound. Okay. Yeah, I can pause and read. Seems to have arrived in good shape. Much better than I expected, given what I've seen of Coldridge Prison. He seems willing to work with us, and he shouldn't lack for motivation. The man has lost everything. 
We'll judge how he performs in the field. And if I can, I'll find a way to test him personally. End of message. Keep trying. I keep jumping to like grab stuff. I don't want to leave any coin around. Okay, this will be one way to get out. Anything? No. There it is. I love that blade so much. Got it. Choir powers. We can't get any of them, can we? Oh, no. Vitality? What is the vitality? Health is increased. Cool. Um, and we can't get any of these. Sure, we'll go ahead and get vitality. Now on to the main mission. Uh, before we go into the... Hub first. Do you want to read, Paul? Part of the soul live in the heart. If the heart keeps beating, does that mean that the spirit is never released into oblivion? I can keep a heart beating forever with electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. I am uneasy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. And while that thing's been talking, we've just been stealing some stuff. Whoa. Portal? Alright, let's talk to him. Havelock stopped in earlier, but I forgot what he wanted. He's waiting to see you, I believe. Uh, I was gonna try to buy some stuff for him now that we have enough money. But whatever, we'll talk to this Havelock. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, Assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Cheers. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Halkids. Okay, so okay. now before if you've a moment. everybody wants to talk to us, but I really want to talk to this guy. What can I do for you? Okay, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Uh, bulk capacity. Because we're going to be using a lot of these bolts, and we can't afford any? Oh no. We had a, enough. Oh, that's bullet capacity. Okay, bullet capacity. Um, capacity by 10. Oh, that's standard bolts. Oh, dang. Let me just waste our money. I don't know. Oh well, I didn't learn. Corvo. Corvo. 
What? Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. And just think. I don't know how old this game is. I'm going to look it up. I'll post on screen. Ready to go. But this game is just, just absolutely beautiful from the Xbox 360 and uh, PlayStation 3 era. And I've never played Dishonored 2. I've seen like bits and pieces of the game, but I, if Dishonored 1 is this good, I could just only imagine how good Dishonored 2 is. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Know which is worse. Just take your pick. Okay, there's some meat right there. Right up, you know. Let's go. Okay, we're using our blink. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no I more. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Good. Keep them coming. I don't know if we were supposed to be doing that, but uh, I'm gonna do that anyways. Just in case. I don't want to blab my location. Attention, watchmen. Should be fine. This district is now considered a there. highly infected area. Residents are to be escorted to Maybe adjacent neighborhoods that. or delivered for immediate deportation to the flooded district. Remain in position until qualified have personnel have completed the removal of infected bodies. At least some of them have money. One, two, three, heave! I don't know how we're gonna do this. Let's see if our darts are gonna. I know you're somewhere around here. We know you're here. And we'll find you. Eyes sharp. Call it. <laughs> we know you're here. <laughs> I'll find you, you hagfish. You got lucky this time. Uh oh. Hey. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Heard that. Oh, 
Nice. No kills. No kills. That's what we aim to do. Gosh, I was like holding my breath over that. <laughs> There's one more guy over there. Two of them. Now we should be good. Um, they didn't have anything on, did they? He did. He did. Ugh. Man, he did. Is there anything over here? Ooh. Ooh, there's a charm right there. Ah, I see. I know what we're supposed to do. Alright. Oh, crap. Yes. There it is. Bone charm. Uh, bone charms provide small supernatural effect uh, benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once in the bone charm section. Of uh, of the journal, excuse me. Activate bone charm. Healthy appetite. Food heals you slightly more. Well, that's cool. I really need it right now. Is there something over there? Let me my ring or the heart. Nope. There's a ring. Can you be able to or do I have to climb again? Hmm. Oh well. Oh. Oh. Climb up to the side. <laughs> Could have done that whole time. Attention Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from Honorable Lord Regent. This is the look. Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended to the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. I know you're somewhere around here. I owe you, brother. 
I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Sure, let's see what you have. Sleep. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. That is awful. Awful, pr awful prices. Uh, we'll just have to go to uh, the other place we started buying stuff from. That is awful. Um, I don't know. We probably won't buy anything. Huh? Okay. Guess we'll just take some money. And a rune. Where is that thing at? I hear it. It has a beautiful song. Oh, it's probably in here. Not rune, bowling charm. Um, your adrenaline takes slightly longer to cool down. Eh. Seventy-five coin. This guy just has a corpse. Love him. To be fair, he probably doesn't live there. He Slows right here. Attention, Dunwall citizen. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Well, is it on? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. Oh. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Ooh. messed up this mission. That's gonna be high chaos right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to reload. Okay, we just started right here. Oh, I'm fish peeing.
We'll be that uh, respectful. I was like, where is he at? And I heard noise in my right ear. Take him out to a nice dinner next. Uh, oh shoot! How long do I have to fuck? I better make a pass over here. I don't know, stupid goddamn. I'm going somehow. Oh no! Can we get anything else? We can't, unfortunately. Um, cost us three rooms. Been time. That would be really helpful. Been time. Okay. Probably gonna have to go back over there. Cause there's probably something I missed. Yeah. So I'll just cut to whenever I get to that rune. Garbage, 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 all of it. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can. Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. Uh -oh. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny rags, granny rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Yes, we will. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. You're blind. You Not listen. deaf. We're here to do your washing. Hmm. We... Granny, 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 come out with me and Wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer of a Age ending. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, granny? Whatever you got, slap. Jaw gets a cut. Nothing perfect. Just bottle street rules. Oh. Oh, those are probably the wrong ones, aren't they? Oh, we just shot the wrong ones. Rough them up! Kicking his teeth! 
Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead count. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. Dang. Didn't want well, to kill him. No, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Ooh. I told you the knives go on the left. Ooh. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Ooh. It's on. I'll just save so I can uh, get a little too blink. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. How did we miss this? I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of you know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess Found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. Wow. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Cool. They're shocked. Now we can upgrade our boink. Yay. Now we have full leveled boink. You'll have to go or they won't come. Is that everything? Yeah, that seems like we got all the runes and all of the bone charms right now.
Oh, that was smooth. That was so smooth. Wanted slack jaw. We'll be meeting up with uh, our little friend later. Our little friend Slack Job. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital F. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I know where he's at now. I have to keep this position. He says to bring the bottle, I bring the bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. <sighs> says to bring food I bring food he says to undress I un <laughs> and she has keys all right and there is a safe right there so now we just need to Find now realistically we could just like oh never mind I was gonna say we could just like try to guess it as much as we could but I guess they figured that out smart on their end Okay, so I think I know what the password is. Is it 287? Might be. Might be 287. Let's, let's test that. It's only a theory, a game theory. Yep. Yeah. Smart. Ooh. Big gold bars. That's BGB in the acronym world.
Uh, when cleaning the study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please at all costs refrain from attempting to complete or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, uh, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since it'll since I'll be out of the city for a few days. I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed. Uh, I'm afraid it's short by half. Uh, you can count out, or you can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. Okay. I kind of hate that we are doing like a low chaos thing but at the same time I really want to do the low chaos it's just that uh, I just barging into things and chewing bubble gum and taking names He's gone for like two weeks or whatever he said, and he left the fireplace on. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Would they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Nope. Uh, you will soon see. Actually, not soon, but you will see. Ah. About this whole plague situation. Got everything we could. You go downstairs. With our loud footsteps. Holy cow. Attention Dunwall citizens, following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. If signs of infection...
like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Not fast enough. <laughs> Somebody give me a hand! <laughs> Please! Oh my. We just sent him through the wall. Try to do it quietly, but oh well. We can get out. goes not to the abbey or the office of the high overseer but one of the other places where they train the overseers to be real religious crazy he just wants to know where his brother's gone he sneaks in you know eddie brilliant at it when he's sober i remember brimsley job hitting the dumb waiter all night yeah so he goes from room to room kids sleeping an overseer giving a lecture to the kids couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music. A kind of plinky plonky sound. That's what spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. That's an ink slapper, Rodney. Okay, I got one for you. Well, give it. Okay, here goes. The nobleman laid with the scullery. But loudly they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butchering knife and carved herself some peace and quiet. Damn it! Here you are! Take him down! Of 
thing. I don't know if that's really gonna mess us up. But yeah, uh, we, we kinda messed up there. We're probably gonna get like a high chaos. Bootleg still instructions. Attach an empty elixir vial to the spout before you turn the thing on. Turn the valve on. Uh, collect the full valve. Repeat until empty. Trap is clean. Our light is green. Trap is clean. Okay, where do I put this? I just read the instructions. I don't know what's there. Huh. There we go. Can we do something? Whatever. Now we just visit sweet dear old great Grammy. Someone, come on, let's get up. Go down, you pig. Not doing good on uh, being an assassin and doing low chaos. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. That will never walk. Never. Yes, we got another room. gives you some adrenaline. Alright. Huh, right. actually I will. Um alright, we've been recording for a little or a good bit. Um next time on uh Dishonored we're going to go to Holger Square and uh, complete the rest of the mission. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.